You know what's better than one Franklin Armory binary trigger? Two Franklin Armory binary triggers. Oh, that is new kid on the block. Okay, so I lied. It's uh, three Franklin Armory binary triggers, okay? <laughs> I had only a few rounds in there, but I figured since we were playing with binary triggers, I'd bring out the MP5, of course. Y'all like the way that looks, by the way? Deciding what type of optic to throw on here, but I don't know. I don't know if it's worthy of being given away or not, especially since this is Ryan's, but maybe one day we'll give away something identical to this. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like that. But the real reason we're here today is because the Sons of Guns over there at Franklin Armory introduced another binary trigger on the 4th of July. That is, God bless America. God bless American companies, American guns, and binary triggers. Thank you, Franklin Armory, for coming out with a binary trigger for the PC Charger by Ruger. Now, what's really cool about this gun is it's based off of the PC carbine, but it's a pistol version, real short guy. It was actually pretty much designed to compete with a CZ Scorpion, right? And maybe a SIG MPX for coming in at a much more, let's just say affordable price than some competitors out there, all right? But I will tell you what, the PC Charger is a cool gun. It's a takedown, you can remove the forward assembly. The barrel, you can just simply take that guy right off by locking the bolt back and you got this little disconnect. But I don't wanna take it apart right now. I actually wanna shoot it some more, okay? Pretty much a completely ambi gun as well, which I like quite a bit. You can swap the mag release to be on whichever side you want, even the charging handle, and of course, well, Franklin Armory ships with ambi safeties that you see right there, and yeah, we're on that binary mode. So what is a binary trigger before we go any further? Because you might be new to the channel, new to firearms, new to binary triggers. It's quite simple. When I pull the trigger, it's gonna go bang. When I release the trigger, it's gonna go bang. Let me just show you guys really quick, all right? And I'm gonna show you just how hard this really is to shoot like this. There it is, just like that. Now, how cool is that? And yes, I've got a massive berm in front of me, so I'm not really afraid of stray bullets, okay? All right, I'm being accountable for every shot here. Don't worry, I'm just shooting into the dirt over there. Not worried about it. Anyway, just in case you're an internet RSO and you're freaking out for me looking at the camera, and not where I'm shooting. But anyway, all that being said, this thing, now we're unsafe. This thing is sweet, all right? Now, Franklin Armory coming out with the binary trigger for this guy. This system here has been out for a little over a year. I think they announced it like March of last year. And when they first came out, I was kind of like, I don't know, man. It looks kind of weird. It's a little bulky. It's a little heavy. And then I shot it. And I shot the, obviously the unbinary trigger one, just a standard one, and it was actually pretty fun. It ships without any sights, but that's okay. They leave you a optics ready type gun here. So you got the Picatinny rail right up here, and I've got the Aimpoint T2 on here with the Scholar Works mount. And I will tell you, the Scholar Works mount, they're great mounts, but because of that dial, I can't get it as tight as I want just because of where the receiver meets the Picatinny. But that's okay, it's tight enough. I'm still holding zero, so I'm happy about it. But uh, anyway, this thing is sweet. Now, how does the binary trigger work? Well, the guys at Franklin Armory, they're just geniuses, okay? So they've pretty much come up with a whole trigger system here that allows you to replace what you have and, well, put this guy in it. I know a lot of you guys might be concerned about safety, right? So let's go over some of the safety features on this guy. For one, this right here is safe. You can tell by which way the tab is. No bullet, little bullet with the mark through it. So when I pull the trigger, it's stiff, ain't nothing gonna happen, okay? Semi-auto, straight down, just like that, pointed right at one bullet. Let's go ahead and shoot it semi-auto. Minus the binary, that is a fantastic trigger. That is a very short take up, very short reset. I mean, that just, that feels good. Like I said, not even in binary, but let's go ahead and just switch it to binary. So again, one shot when I pull the trigger, and release. Now let's just say I take the shot, but I don't wanna follow through with that second shot. I still have my finger depressed to the rear. That's okay. Put the guy into semi, 
and release and you're just gonna get a reset. Same thing, you can just throw it in the safe and then you'll be in safe, all right? So it is a safe trigger. I run, well, I got an MP5 over there with the binary in it, got the 1022 with the binary in it. And speaking of which, Ruger not too long ago announced the 1022 trigger and if you guys didn't catch the uh, intro to that guy, well, catch the intro to that guy. Oh man, Ruger 1022. Growing up with one of these, so much fun. Oh, low recoil, 22 caliber. God, if, if only Franklin Armory just, if only Franklin Armory just made a binary trigger for it. Yes! <laughs> Woo, let's do that again, how about it? Come on! Talk about fun. It's a 22 with the binary trigger. It's as, there's not too many things in life that explain just how fun that really is, all right? But it's, it's a good time, let me just say that. Now with all that being said, on safe here, with all that being said, the PC charger, like I said, is ultimately just a cool gun to begin with, okay? And you know, how many more rounds do I got left? I got a couple more rounds to this mag. It does have a threaded barrel on it, and I've got my suppressor over there mounted up on the Scorpion, so let's just go ahead and finish this mag out for safety. <laughs> that thing rocks, all right? That thing absolutely sends it. I like it, okay? Now let's go ahead and, well, I mean, may as well, right? We're all here, so just gonna go ahead and There we go, like I said, for safety. But let's go ahead and take the suppressor off of this guy, running a Gemtech 45, and a couple of y'all have also been asking for uh, a build list on my Scorpion here, which I think I might just do like a, uh, I don't know, I'll probably just post like an Instagram TV video or something like that. Uh, make sure you're following Magdump underscore Morgan. And Classic Firearms Picks is our backup account, but guess what, good news guys, we just got our Instagram count account back. So classic firearms, just, just classic firearms, not classic firearms one, not classic firearms with two eyes, not all these other fraud accounts that exist out there. So we are back. Still can't go live there though, because well, they still hate guns, all right? But ultimately we are back. So make sure you are following us on Instagram for the support and letting all these social media platforms know that uh well you guys like the second amendment and you like it quite a bit all right so yeah make sure you're following us if you aren't go over there like some of our old footage we're trying to get everything updated uh so that way it'll uh you know you'll be up to time i think the last thing we have over there right now is the bnt apc9 giveaway so excuse me this thing is still pretty hot so uh we'll let this cool down and then i'll just go ahead and throw it on <laughs> All right, now that we're over here and I don't have burnt hands, let's go ahead and give this guy a couple of shots suppressed. Kind of excited for this. You know, I, I did have a target over there the whole time. Dude, that thing is sweet. I mean, just look at how compact that is. Now, if you wanted to keep the can on it while traveling, I mean, again, once the bolt is locked to the rear, which it is, you just take this guy, push forward. It might be a little, little awkward to do on camera here, but there it is. And now the guy's completely apart. You can put it in a backpack or whatever the SIG or the SB Tactical little SIG brace that I have on here, this can fold up. Boom. That is cool. So if you're already in the market for a PC charger, you're kind of like thinking about it, well, these things are sweet, all right? These things are super cool, ultra reliable, heavy duty. They're gonna work for you. And Ruger's just a good brand. Let's just throw it out there, okay? Now, <laughs> uh, if you are already have a PC charger and maybe you're just looking to, I don't know, add some pretty cool stuff to it, the Binary Trigger by Franklin Armory is uh, something I would totally recommend, okay? I mean, again, this thing is just too freaking cool. <laughs> Oh, that is awesome. You know, I do wish, maybe Franklin, if you're watching, 
I've been trying to get my hands on like a, you know, a 249 saw that we could give away, one of the semi-auto ones, but we need a binary trigger for that because a semi-auto saw just is like, I, I got an AR-15, you know, and I feel like I could do a whole lot better with that than I could a semi-auto saw, but you know, to each their own. Um, but if you could make a binary trigger for that guy, that would be fantastic. All right, anyway, let me just go ahead and throw this guy back together really quick. And I haven't done this all too much, but that was, well, that was easy. Let's do a quick little function check. Yeah, okay, yeah, so that right there goes to show you how easy it is to do. You just attach, twist, and you're ready to rock and roll. So, again, 4th of July, Franklin Armory came out <laughs> with the binary trigger for the PC charger. And I am a huge fan of Franklin Armory, a lot of their products, especially the binary triggers. That stuff is just awesome. And now they've got it for a system, which I think is just really cool. And you guys can already see here how fun it is, how reliable it's running. So all in all, this thing is awesome, guys. And 10 out of 10 would recommend. I like it a lot. Now, really quick, I just wanna go over some of the basic controls of the PC charger, because again, it's a newer newer gun to the market. It does ship with a hand stop right up front here, a little UTG hand stop, which is actually pretty nice because if you start to, well, reach a little bit over that, you might not have a good day if you don't have a can on it. So that's nice to have. You do have an M-Lock rail on it, and though the M-Lock spaces are limited, you still have more than what I've seen on some other carbines, which is typically like maybe one slot. So having the two going all the way around is pretty nice. Now on the bottom, it gets a little funny just because you have the takedown lever. But of course, if you know you wanna remove that and put something else, you can. But I actually really like how they did that there. So easy enough to still attach a light if you want. Again, the mag release on it, you can switch from side to side. Same with, uh, well, the safety Zambi, but same with the charging handle. You're all good on that front. If you wanna lock the bolt to the rear, you've got just this little tab right here that you just push up while the bolt is in the rearward position and you are now locked in place. Send it home, pull it back, and you're ready to rock and roll. Another cool thing, AR style grip. So any type of AR-15 aftermarket grip you wanna throw on here, you can do that. And also, I like the fact that they've integrated the QD mounts right back here on this guy, so that way if you wanted a single point it up, have a sling on it, you can do that, which is pretty cool. Have another little maybe sling mount that's M-lock attached over here, and you might have yourself a little good you know, two point, you could rock the McLean core sling if you wanted to. I think that'd be pretty nice. And then for the back, you've got just a Picatinny rail section, so you can throw on any type of Picatinny brace if you want. And again, having the SIG brace that you see right here that just folds right over, it's nice and in line, stays out of the way, works really well for the system. But one thing I don't like about this brace is simply because it does this, but that's because it's a brace and not a stock. So I understand, I get it. Some gun laws, I tell you guys, they're just ridiculous. Speaking of pistol braces, don't forget, you still got a few days left to get your comment period in or get your comments in to the ATF about uh, keeping braces, leaving them alone, and maybe why the NFA should exist to, to begin with. I don't know. But anyway, I think we can leave it off there, everybody. We just wanted to show off some new product here. Again, Ah, uh, Franklin Armory just working magic over here. They did it with the 1022 and how much fun that was. And now they've done it with the PC charger that you see right here. All right, so drop a comment down below, guys. How much fun have y'all had with binary triggers? Me, personally, y'all already know I very much so enjoy them. You've seen me do a couple of mag dumps out here today. So there you have it. I'm going to leave it off there, guys. Don't forget, we are currently giving away the Springfield M1A SOCOM CQB. This thing is sweet. It's our 4th of July giveaway. Same same day that, you know, Franklin Armory announced the trigger for the PC charger. Pretty cool, I see what you guys did there, America. But the Springfield M1A SOCOM CQB model is a lot of fun. Little baby 308 with a 50 round drum because 10 rounds is fine, 20 is cool, but if you got a 50 round drum laying around, you may as well go with a 50 round drum. So congratulations to our winner of the previous giveaway. We always love seeing footage of you guys putting in work with your giveaway items that you've won. So make sure you're DMing them on over to magdump underscore Morgan if you guys are there because well, I want to see them. And well, I would say classic firearms, but Instagram might shut us down again. So make sure you are following us all over the place. Make sure you're getting signed up for our emails and uh, 
If you are interested in any of the products we've shown today, again, check out our website. If any of it is unavailable, that's okay. Sign up for the in-stock notifications. All it is is a simple email that you type in or whatever email you want to put in there, and then we'll notify you as soon as that product becomes available. Don't miss out. Code word, password, secret code word, extra entry for the SOCOM giveaway is quite simply SOCOM, S-O-C-O-M. No extra points for the unabbreviated word. God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com. Hey, did I tell you it was gonna be hot if you mag dump the scorpion? <laughs> Dude, I thought I could handle it, all right? <laughs> I, got my, I got my rag, I figured it'd be okay. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> With that being said, did the, did the camera not yeah. like that? No, the camera didn't like that. <laughs>